all right to you. So the first thing that I want to show you is just how to make some super simple tofu that you can add to any of these recipes. You're just going to take a block of extra firm tofu and chop it into little chunks like this. Add the juice of half of a lemon, one to two tablespoons of coconut aminos, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then just a tiny bit of salt. Mix all that together. I just throw this in my air fryer on 360 degrees for 15 minutes or you can do it in your oven on the same setting and this tofu comes out perfect. You don't want it to be super crispy or dried out because it's going to dry out even more in the fridge and I like to just throw this cold tofu onto my salad so I just put it into a little Tupperware and then I add it to everything that I'm making. This first salad we're going to be making is a Caesar salad. We're going to need about a fourth of a cup of tahini, a little bit of lemon juice, some spices like Italian seasoning, and some garlic powder and salt. Just mix all that together with a little bit of water to whatever kind of consistency you like. Just a little reminder, when you're making these salad dressings, they are going to thicken quite a bit in the fridge once they get cool, so I like to make them a little bit on the thinner side just to keep them from getting too thick so that they're a lot easier to mix into the salads. For the Caesar salad, I like to just put some lettuce, tomato, this is the Vio Life Parmesan, which is amazing. If you haven't tried it yet, you can find it at Whole Foods. We're going to throw some red onion and cucumbers in here as well, but feel free to add whatever you like. In the past, from working in a restaurant, I learned this little tip of always mixing your salad dressing into your greens first. It helps you use less, and it also makes the salad more presentable, so that you can add the toppings on top and everything's already mixed together, and it just makes it look really nice you know so we're just gonna add all of our toppings on here again feel free to switch up the ingredients with whatever you like and that's it a super easy Caesar summer salad the next salad we're gonna be making has the same dressing from the previous one this is going to be more of a Greek salad though so we have some spring greens some sun-dried tomatoes olives red onion and tomatoes and cucumbers. I'm going to be using this Vio Life Feta, kind of tastes like goat cheese, ugh, it's so good, <laughs> no joke. So here's another tip that I like to do with these kind of spring greens, I like to take a scissors and just cut them up into smaller bits, especially when it's more of like a mixed salad that we're going to be making like this. So for this one, we want to pour all of our ingredients into a bowl and then put our dressing on top. And mix all of that together really well because it is more of like a tossed salad and then what I like to do once I've done that is just put it into a nice bowl like one of these cute little coconut bowls put the feta on top to make it look really presentable you could add some black pepper or any other toppings that you like also just threw some tomatoes on here to make it really pretty and yeah this one is really good if you like Greek salad if you guys saw my obsession with this salad on Instagram, it is a vegan Waldorf salad. So we have some walnuts, some vegan blue cheese, and some apples, red onion, celery, and our tofu. Once again, we're just going to chop up our greens into smaller bits. And then I just use this balsamic glaze as a dressing. It is a little bit sweeter because it is reduced. If you don't have balsamic glaze, what I was doing before I found this stuff was I was just mixing together a little bit of maple syrup with some balsamic vinegar and using that as a dressing. Or you can just use balsamic vinegar. It really just depends what you like. You're just gonna add all of your toppings onto here. We've got our walnuts, our tofu, our onions, celery, all the good stuff. And then what I like to do to make this pretty is just do a little dash of the balsamic glaze on top just to make it look really presentable and beautiful because we want to be eating beautiful food we eat with our eyes first right okay this next dressing is a little bit more complicated we're gonna need a blender but we're just gonna add some carrots in here some tahini we've got the juice of one lime squeeze that in there also gonna add in a thumb of ginger some soy sauce rice vinegar and then oh my gosh you guys might hate me for this but I'm actually gonna be adding some toasted sesame oil into here so this is the only oil I ever use and it's because it has such a good flavor especially in Asian dressing so I usually just add about a teaspoon or a tablespoon depending on how heavy I want the toasted sesame flavor to be but it makes it so incredible and if a little bit of toasted sesame oil is gonna make you guys eat a salad I say go for it 
This Asian salad is something that you can really just cater to whatever you like. So I have my greens, I threw some cucumbers in there, I had some edamame beans on hand. Sometimes I'll throw cranberries in here, dried cranberries. I got my tofu, got some red onion, which most of the time I will use green onion, I just didn't have any, and then some cilantro. Put our dressing on there. This dressing is so good if you guys have ever been to like a Thai restaurant. It tastes just like that carrot miso ginger dressing. Oh my god, it's incredible. So with these dressings as well, what you can do, because some of them will make a little bit more dressing than you can use for one salad, is just put them into a reusable container. I just have this old jelly jar. And these will last for up to five days in the fridge. The last salad we're going to be making is a cob salad, so we're going to need some cashew butter. If you don't have cashew butter, you can just use a cup of cashews and blend it with some water. We got some lemon juice, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, ground dill. We're also going to add in half a teaspoon of salt, and then we can just add in as much water as we want to get the consistency that we like. This dressing is so good. It's from my saucy book that has over 55 vegan sauce recipes. If you guys have not checked it out, check it out. But it's a really super easy ranch. So we're just going to pour that onto some romaine and mix it all together. This is a cob salad, so it's kind of like do whatever you want. But I like to add tomatoes, cucumbers, red onion, the tofu, and some avocado. And then I'll just put a little more drizzle of the cashew ranch on top and it's just oh, so good you guys so good 